underway. We're on truck number three. Pumping good. Made a screed right down here to our pins. Now I'm pulling the straight edge this way. Now I'll turn it and pull this out. Give you some up close footage. Looking right into that sun makes it difficult. Making sure my ends are down. I give myself a line right there. And turn. Floating around these posts while we're here. Three empty? Yeah. Okay, four's on deck mixing. All right, five's on the way. <laughs> Get six coming. Down on my two by four lip. No, they're good. Turn that drum, let's go. He got a new truck. Okay, that's as far as I can go. Okay, well I got a quick minute. Here's what I was talking about with our foam. You can see the blue line right at the top of it. The concrete just covers that edge. That way you don't see two inches of foam right here sticking up through the floor. Okay, pull this back. Waiting on number five. I just missed it. Uh, Joe was blowing out the water lines in this cold weather just driving down the road the hose will freeze the fittings will freeze and then next load of concrete you're all jammed up so they blow all that out and get on the road it's warming up nice well wow, that sun feels good it's probably 35 degrees probably pushing 40 shortly all right, number five will be here shortly. Five, I'm sorry, ten yards up to this pin, just past the pin, and five yards to finish up.
still not here, so the guys are starting to pull these sills, taking the two by fours off. Now you can see how that creates our inch and a half lip step down. I'll go over and show you that one. Concrete's still pretty soft. Getting that taken care of now, so we can focus on this when he gets here. Okay, so that's cleaned up. Pretty close to being ready to broom. We'll just address this top edge, re-roll it, ready to broom. So pretty soft. Let's cut off some of that wind. You can see how the door will close right into there. See if I can hold it down. Nope. Okay, maybe it'll stay right there. That'll help. Come on, where's he at? Well, I should have got six yards. Five yards came up short. We have this section to do. Uh, even a half of a yard, we would have made it. So we're just emptying the hopper out now. We have all the line in the truck. You sure you don't have that much in the line? Man, close, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, I called for concrete. They're loading us a yard. We'll keep working at this. If we make it, I'll send that yard back. I'll cancel it. But at least we're pushing forward to get this done. It's still coming out. Man, four wheelbarrows and we're there. Okay. Heads up, Cox. Hey. That's about it. There's still quite a bit in the hopper. There's two wheelbarrows in there let me go tell him that maybe i cancel that yard hey tom you still got a full a good bit in that hopper huh? there's still a good bit in that hopper yeah but we're talking there right now Once okay I suck back and drop it, yeah probably say you're only gonna get that much we still need some okay all right there you have it okay so we backed up Bumper truck up, cleaned up his hopper. We had a pile of concrete. We shoveled it in, and that's as far as I can make it. I still have to do this one foot by four inch sill. Uh, <laughs> one and a half wheelbarrows of concrete, and we would have made it. I have another cement truck coming. What a waste of money. But I didn't want to gather up all the spoils from this morning and put that weak concrete here and do that to the customer. So sometimes you just got to do it. it it'll be here shortly the guys are moving along good let's go see how that's finishing okay that's starting to shine up ever so slightly so probably one more pass maybe two passes in here i can't keep that door open Hit it different directions, diagonal, side to side. It levels everything up. Takes all my little humps and bumps out from straight edging. Yep. Uh, I brought two. Uh, we probably don't need to get the second one going. One machine's keeping up just fine.
Yeah, that is the last look. Yeah, it's setting up pretty good. See how the floor is really starting to shine up. Now keep in mind, whenever you're power troweling concrete, you want to tell the dispatcher at the plant, low air or no air. We got low air in this because there's no heat in here yet. So we wanted a little bit of air for expansion and contraction on the freeze and thaw. And then of course in a month when it's heat's hooked up, it'll be good. A little bit creamy over there. That was our last truck. You can see the shine coming off of that floor halfway down. So tomorrow we'll come and put three saw cuts this way and probably four cuts this way. For crack protection. See how Tom's just letting the machine do the work. Pushing down on the handles to turn it pick it up on the handles to bring it back. He's about half throttle right there. As the concrete gets tight, you turn the blade steeper and up the throttle. The same thing that I always say, slow and flat plays for this too. As the concrete's wet, you use that machine slow and flat. As it gets tighter, you steepen the blades and raise the throttle. Okay, looks like he'll be done in about uh, probably 45 minutes. I'm waiting on our last sill. We had to get a cement truck just for this little bit of concrete. So that's still quite wet. I got it all floated in, ready to be broomed. So just waiting on that. I pulled the doors down to start holding some of the heat. I have a pile of foam over here. Before we leave tonight, I'll lay that foam on the concrete. We left our forms on. We want to contain that heat as best we can. So probably about, probably about an hour we'll be out of here. Okay, so there's the floor all power trowed, nice and smooth. So I just came in in my socks. I'm closing and locking all the doors. Tom's finishing up that. You can see the shine that that leaves behind. Just be careful though when you're working in here now that this is gonna be very slippery. So you don't wanna burn it. Well, it's only what you want. Do you want it super shiny, super smooth? I'm comfortable leaving it like this for the homeowner. He's in here working on it on equipment, cars and that way it won't be too awful slippery at this point. So, uh, the saw makes his way, I'll have him latch that last door, and we'll go ahead and call it a day. Now, it is about four o'clock. Uh, we shine these up by hand pretty good, not this good, but pretty good and we're done by 11 o'clock. That's why we don't use these every day on our basements and, and residential garages. They just take a little bit longer and it's really not necessary. Half of the basements get covered with carpet or ceramic, so it's just not needed. Uh, just explaining why we do what we do. Everybody always asks me, so there it is. So he's gonna make his way right down here. I'll go ahead and head on out the store.
Whew, what a difference in temperature. So that's how we'll leave it for tonight. A couple scrap pieces of foam along with my sweatshirts covering up the rest of the concrete. Nice and warm for tonight. Here's my breakfast bar. Okay, on to the next one. It is a cold, cold morning. It's about 22 degrees out. We got Hillcrest pumping. We got Tony all mixed up, ready to go. And we are pouring these two crawl spaces. Nice, easy pour for us. Two feet under the beams. Get this poured and we are on winter shutdown. Yeah, right. A couple more things to do. I'll say that about 15 times. And then the phone rings. Uh, so we'll stretch this boom out right up into there and start shooting. Yeah, all primed up. This is the slide. That coach the inside of the hose. Hopper is full. See you on the other end. He'll blow a little bit out here on the ground. And then we'll go into the pour. Okay, he sent the driveway the or did the driver the message. Start pumping. Let's see if we'll just get a little bit there, like I said. You can hear it coming. See how we didn't want that in there. Now we'll make our way to that end. Okay. Okay, just filling up our window well pad. And inside. Now we can let her fly. How fast will that pump? I'll set the timer. Ready, go. <laughs> Shaking so much, I can't hold the cameras steady. Put that water, guys. Yeah. A little water in it. Yeah, good. As long as they said they're good, we're good. Yeah. Oh, uh, Tony always makes it just right. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in there and start floating. How hard would this be without a pumper, huh? Well, you couldn't do it. You can't wheelbarrow, there's only two feet between them. This is the way to do it. Okay, we'll get this truck empty, talk to you soon. Okay, I could knock it back to the camera. There it is, final pouring in this crawl space. This side's all done. A little bit of bull floating here. It's hard to bull float over these walls, so we might just have to get on it and hit it by hand. And now we are just on cleanup. I think we're going to run down and grab a coffee. The sun's coming up. It warmed up 10 degrees since we started, huh? Yeah, at least. Yeah. So, how'd we do? Pretty cool. All right, you pumping that in him? Yeah. We'll pump that hopper down into, into the mixer and have a little bit less mess here on the job site. That's like a postcard. 
Welcome to Pittsburgh. Okay, we ran down and grabbed a coffee. Back at it. Concrete's been on the ground, I don't know, 20 minutes. Yeah. Setting up really good. So this we only have to try one time by hand. So slow and flat. Next. Just get the building on top of it. This will never ever see daylight again. Jump on and help out. So it looks like this now. I'll show it to you in 20 minutes. <laughs> Jumping on. Okay. Okay, pretty non-eventful pour here. E easy one for us. Um, now I, my channel is to pass along information that I have. Uh, these winter days. Um, the calcium in the concrete with the concrete is really hard on your hands. Uh, so you can go to any automotive store and get these heavy duty like uh, vinyl gloves. You can still work in them real nice. When it comes to cleaning tools, it keeps your hands out of the limey calcium water. So I thought that might be helpful. Um, keeps your fingers from dry drying out and cracking in the winter. Just wanted to pass that on to you. Good. Somebody might. Okay, there it is all done. Not the prettiest floor, but like I said earlier, this will never ever see daylight again. And it's just to close it up, uh, keep the moisture down underneath this new building, uh, as, as well as radon gas. So they can uh, control all of that. So, nice quick little video for you. I hope the rubber glove helps somebody out there in this profession. Let's head, uh, I think we're gonna head to the shop and work around there a little bit. See you soon. Steve's waiting for me. Okay, this is a wrap. I just got done putting the siding back on. They had some siding left over from construction. We replaced it where the grill melted it. And then of course I cleaned up the bottom with new pieces. A year or two, color will match in better. But keep in mind, that's 20 years difference in siding. I got a little bit muddy, so you're not gonna be able to get a real good picture of it. Just wanted to give you the final. Don't let me forget my battery over there. Okay, there's our broken stone face all done. Now you can see the dirt about a four inch step down into the yard to even into the yard. I'm glad we only put one step. Two steps down, we'd be way too low over here. The patio would always be dirty. Okay, thanks for tuning in to Conqueror of the Hosses. See you on the next project.